Hi there folks, today I'm going to be reviewing Shotscope's V2 watch. It combines advanced GPS technology with the brand's pioneering automated performance tracking system. Now some of you will know exactly what Shotscope has been designed to do and some of you won't, so I'll give you a rundown of exactly what this thing can do for your game. For me, it's a must-have device if you're looking to improve your golf in 2018. So I'll run through the tech and everything it has to offer and I'm just going to go play some golf, so let's get started. The watch is incredibly easy to set up, it takes no more than 5 or 10 minutes. All you need to do is download the smartphone app and then connect to the watch via Bluetooth, uh, put the golf courses you're going to be playing onto the watch and then all you need to do after that is screw each corresponding tag into your golf clubs. This process, as I say, 5 or 10 minutes and the beauty is once you've done it once, that's it, it's done. The great thing is about Shotscope is it allows you to play you around the golf uninterrupted as you normally would. You don't need to fiddle with anything during the round to get your stats. All you need to do is at the end of the round, sync it back to the smartphone app and there you go, you've got your data at your fingertips. Shotscope provides over 100 tour level statistics that you can then use to analyze and break down your game. For instance, so far this season, I'm only hitting the fairway off the tee 29% of the time. That's just not good enough. Uh, I'm missing right 38% of the time. That's something I know I've been doing wrong and the data's just backing that up. I'm hitting the green 54% of the time in regulation, which isn't too bad. I'd like it to be a bit higher. Uh, up and down, uh, I'm not getting up up and down all that often, only 46% of the time. Again, that needs to be a bit better. And fun enough, my putting is a bit woeful. Uh, from short range, I'm pretty good. I'm making 96% of short putts, but in that medium range, I'm just not making anything. I'm not making the putts, and that's where a lot of the scoring is. So along with that detailed statistical breakdown of how you're playing out in the golf course, you've also got individual club data. You've got the average, the longest, and also the performance average, which is the one you probably use. So when you combine that individual and in-depth club data with all those statistics and how you can then break it down to learn more about your game, it's just going to help you play better golf. The more you know, the better your golf is going to get. Without a doubt, one of the standout features with the V2 is the pin collect system. Once you get on the green, uh, the screen automatically switches to pin collect mode and you're reminded just to push one of the buttons to see how many putts you've hit. What this means is that you get the most accurate putting stats possible. When you go, when you finish your round and you look at your stats, it just gives you the confidence that they're going to be right, they're going to be bang on. Uh, I know it's one area of the game where I really need to improve and it just gives me a lot of confidence uh, looking at those stats and knowing they're correct, just thanks to that really innovative and brilliant pin collect system. The V2 provides dynamic distances to the front, middle and back of every green, meaning that you're going to get the distance as you face the green, as you're approaching it. Uh, regardless of what angle you're coming in, you're going to get accurate distances. For example, I'm bang on level with the front edge here, but I'm actually going to get the distance to the edge that's closest to me, so I'm getting 9 yards, which is bang on. It just makes life a lot easier, uh, regardless of where you might find yourself around the golf course, left or right, if you're having a bit of a wild day, you're going to get a better idea of how much room you've got in front of the pin and behind it. Uh, it's just one of those things that makes the V2 a great option as a GPS device. I 
I was a big fan of the original shock scope wristband. It was really easy to use and provided you with a great breakdown of everything you were doing out in the golf course. When I was using it though, I couldn't help but feel it was missing something. With the V2, it really is a clear progression for the brand. Combining GPS technology with their automated uh, performance tracking system just makes so much sense. It's so great to have both. Both of those fantastic things combined into one easy to use device. ShotScope recently released a firmware update for the V2 and now provides dynamic distances to hazards around the golf course. Now this firmware update was entirely free and that's part of the promise from ShotScope that once you purchase the product you're never going to have to pay another penny. All these updates to the, to the device are going to be entirely free. I'm on the 18th tee now and I'm looking forward to seeing what the stats have to say about my round today. Got off to a pretty slow start and I've been pretty dreadful off the tee but a few birdies in the last couple of holes have certainly turned things around. Uh, I'm now only a couple over which on a breezy day around my home course isn't too bad. Uh, so I'm going to head back into the office, upload my data and just see what it has to say, where I was going wrong and where I need to improve. I've synced the stats to my smartphone and I've also got them in front of me here. Uh, there's some interesting things that I can read into my round today. Certainly four closing birdies in the last six holes helped turn my scorecard around. At the turn it wasn't looking so good. Fairways in regulation, 46%. Now that's a bit better than I thought it was going to be, but there's still clearly room for improvement there. I need to be finding the fairway more often off the tee. Greens in regulation, 56%. Uh, it shows that my ball striking is there or thereabouts, but still, you know, room for improvement there. I would like to hit a couple more greens per round. Average putts 1.67, that's not bad for me. Certainly, you know, those closing birdies will have gained, they'll have helped my putting stats. Where I'm really coming up short though, is with my short game. I only got up and down 44% of the time today, and this season 46%. You know, that's just a lot of shots that I'm losing out, especially when you consider that uh, I'm only hitting the green, you know, half of the time. So certainly that's an area where I need to go work on my game. So that's a quick rundown of what, what went on today out in the golf course. Uh, but I can delve into even further thanks to the 100 tour level statistics that ShotScope provides. It gives you a real detailed analysis of everything you're doing out in the golf course. There's a reason why I said the V2 is the must-have device for you if you're looking to improve your golf in 2018. The automated performance tracking system and all these stats give you such a great knowledge about your golf game and that's something that I can only see help, helping you out the golf course and helping your practice and helping you improve. Then when you consider they've combined GPS with that technology, it's just a no-brainer for me. It's such a fantastic device to have on your wrist out the golf course. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also thank you for watching.